Hey planner babes, Ashley here. Do you remember those faith cards that came inside of the faith planner companion pack from the happy planner? They're the cards that look like this. And in the flip through video of the spring release when these first came out when I did my flip through video, I said that I had some ideas for these. Well, I finally decided what I wanted to do and I'm gonna show you guys um, what I'm doing, how I did it, all of the different products that I used. I'm gonna be sticking them inside of these protective page protectors that are from the happy planner but really quickly i want to show you one other idea because i thought this was a really good idea i just didn't do it you are more than welcome to though but i was thinking it'd be cool to take them and stick them on the divider in your faith planner like take some of the tombow double-sided tape or any type of adhesive tape you could use double uh, like regular double-sided tape and stick these in on the divider. I thought that was a really good idea and you are more than welcome to do it. I decided not to because I do change out my dividers often. If you're someone that likes to you know, keep the same dividers in there, I think that would be a great idea. I also thought about taking a regular page, like a, like a note sheet from the Happy Planner and sticking the cards on there and just kind of rearranging them that way. But I knew that I had some of these page protectors from the Happy Planner, so I decided to use those. And here's what they look like. They are, these ones are from their memory keeping line. These are the big page protectors, so they're size for a big happy planner. These ones are size for a classic happy planner. So I have those. And then I also have this. Now, I got this from Walmart. It's not going to come in a baggie like this. The bag that it was in had fallen apart, so those are just stickers. But the bag that it was in had fallen apart. But this is what it looks like. Like whenever you get it, this little thing will be inside of there. It's a scrap pack. I love these. You get a pound of like scrap, scrapbook paper. And when I seen the paper in here, I was like, oh my gosh, the colors in here are gorgeous and they match the faith line. So I decided to use them. I'm gonna show you here what I'm talking about. So here's some different colors and they're not, they're like different textures too. It's not all just like thick cardstock. Um, some of it's recycled paper. They've got different textures, colors, patterns, and different things on there. You can also find them in many different um, like color sets, if that makes sense. Like there's a lot of these like light pink and purple. There's some wild patterns in here. And so I really do love these. I love buying these little packs at Walmart. Whoops, and they do have different sizes as well. So here's some other ones. You can see there's like some random bright colors in here. So that's um, one thing that I used. I'm just gonna stick these out of the way. Here, I'm actually gonna hold this up here. If you're wanting to do this, take a screenshot of that scrap pack so you know what I'm talking about and you know um, what to look for. Whenever you go in Walmart, it's with the scrap uh, scrapbooking paper, like where they have the cardstock paper, that's where these are at. So there's that that I used. And then I also used these. These are from the Happy Planner. They don't come in a baggie either. <laughs> but these were part of their memory keeping line. I've had these for a long time and I've been hoarding them. I've I am only using two of them here. So if you don't have these, don't stress. But they are the little cards that actually go in the page protector. So they're already sized for it. But seriously, if you don't have these, don't stress. You don't need to have them. You can get on Pinterest and print off uh, photos and then cut them out and stick them inside of the dividers. I just wanted to show you that I did use two of these smaller ones. So I have those. And here is what I come up with. Let me move this stuff too. So I went through the card pack that I picked up from Walmart and I picked out, let me take this whole little top section out. I picked out these like cardstock pages that I wanted, the little scrap paper. I picked out which colors I wanted. I paired them up which cards I, with which like little faith cards that I wanted to use. And then I organized them inside of this page protector. So that one would go there. This is what the front would look like. Now we're not completely finished, so I'm not done with these yet. I'm gonna show you guys what else I'm gonna do. But with the scrap paper that I have from Walmart, I just, what you do is you take a ruler and you're gonna measure this. I think that the package might actually tell you what size they are. Yeah, it has um, the different sizes here. I just like to measure them, but if you take this and you measure it, that's, that's four inches in width, and you could go about three inches height. And so then you know where to cut your paper at. 
And then for these cards, the ones that are standing like straight up in this one, this is how tall they normally are. So I did have to trim those ones down. So I trimmed those down that way they would fit standing up. These ones I obviously didn't have to trim because they're going in sideways. So there's that one that I'm gonna do. And then I also chose this page protector. And this one, I'm going to take these little cards. This one is one of the faith cards, like this. But I just cut it down to where it would fit inside of these page protectors. Because as you can see, those are smaller squares. So I cut those down so those would fit inside of there. And I'm just going to stick all of these little cards that I have inside of here. Now the two that I use that are from the Happy Planner, like that little card pack here that I showed you that I have, the two that I used is this one is one of them. It says hello. And then this was the other one. So many of my spot smiles begin with you. So those are the two that I'm going to use that will um, go inside of here that came from the Happy Planner stuff. But seriously, if you don't have them, don't stress because you can totally get on Pinterest, find some images that you like, um, resize them, print them out, cut them out, and stick them inside of here. And I've actually done that before with my fitness planner. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick these inside of here and then we will finish this little thing up. Now for the back of this one, because you can go ahead and stick stuff into the back of it as well, you just have to flip it around. For now, I'm actually going to leave this blank and I'm going to create my own Pinterest board. And um, actually, once I create it, I can share it and I'll put it down in the description box so you guys can check it out. But I do want to create my own Pinterest board and find some faith style pictures that inspire me. And then I'm going to print them out and I will stick them in the back of here. But I know that for me, sometimes that takes some time finding the right photos, things that really speak to me. So um, I'm going to leave it as it is for right now. And then once I get all those photos figured out, I will print them out and stick them inside of here. But there's that one. Now with this one, I am going to take my Tombow tape. I'm going to start gluing the cards to the scrap cardstock paper. there we go it is finished I love these you guys I think it turned out really cute you guys are totally welcome to copy me if you want to I love these little um, cards from the happy planner these are awesome like this one says you say like as in me and you would say I'm all alone but God says I will never leave you like I love to have these in my planner 
anytime that I'm feeling down or whatever, just want, like if I'm, if I'm feeling alone or if I'm feeling tired or if I feel like something's impossible, I have this to look back to and it has the verse that it comes from. So I really do like that. And then I will show you guys a quick little snake peek. But while I was making these, I was also working on setting up my planner. And I think I'm going to stick these right here in the front. I might actually take this one and put it in the weekly. And then each week, I'll take that one with me. I think that's what I'm going to do for now. Uh, we'll put it down here. And then I can always see it. And it'll be on there every single week. So there we go. That's the front and the back. And then like I said, for this one up here, the back of it, I will uh, finish filling that in once I get the photos that I want to use. Now I didn't film the entire process because it is a little bit tedious. You have to set and measure everything out, cut things out. Actually, once I got like, for example, I took this card here, which was out of that pack from the Happy Planner, and I used it to measure the rest of these and cut those out. And that made it super easy. And then I did the same thing over here. Once I got the first backing cut to where it would fit, then I used that backing to measure out the rest of the backs of these. And then with these ones, I just measured those from the top to the bottom of that backing if that makes sense. But like I said, I didn't film it. It was kind of tedious. It, it took me a little while to do, um, to sit down. And I also had to figure out what, like which, which ones I wanted together on the front, which ones I wanted together on the back, how to arrange everything and place them. Same thing with the, this other sheet, but I, I love it. And I hope you love it. I hope it inspires you to find a way to use those cards, whether you do it this way, you use it on a divider, you put it on a note page and stick it in your planner. Um, you could always even put them on the cover if you wanted to. I think that's a great idea too. Put it on the cover, like the inside cover of your faith planner. There are so many different options for them. If you make something with them and you would like to, please tag me on Instagram because I seriously would love to see what you create. I love seeing all the creations that you guys make. I love Instagram. I love to just sit down and scroll sometimes and, and look and I'm like, wow, I mean, this community is, is so incredibly good. And sometimes I wonder why you guys watch my videos. I'm like, there's so, there's so many people out there who do so much better than me. Um, so I do want to say thank you for watching my videos. I do appreciate that. Again, if you make something and you want to tag me, please do. I would love to see it. I hope you have an incredible day, my friend. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Have you checked out the playlists that I have here on YouTube yet? I have them for my fitness planner, for faith planning, for memory keeping, for setups of all my planners. So if there's a specific video you're looking for or if there's a specific category you're looking for, make sure you go check out the different playlists I have.